guys, it's your boy Night Channel 4 Comics. I'm going to do the four creator comics uh, tag started by uh, Readem Steven. I was tagged by my boy Jay Rocks, and um, I got a couple books here to show you guys. Now, I know a lot of people are kind of doing their tag, or doing the tag, their own kind of style. So I'm going to do it the way I took it, and that is, you know, to show the books or the creators that got you into comics. Now, the books I'm about to show you, sorry if you hear that weird gremlin noise, that's Lola in the background, she's wrestling a pillow, <laughs> I don't know, but, um, so yeah, I'm going to show you the books, Lola, would you shut up, thank you, <laughs> my bad, but anyways, I'm going to show you the books that got me in the comics, and there's nothing too special about them, when I show you these books, you're going to be like, that's what got you into comics, you know, it's not like, you know, Frank Miller, Dark Knight, nothing like that. It's just some simple issues that got me into comics. And what I mean by got me into comics is it got me into my store on a regular basis. Now, I went to Comic-Con. It was July. And my intent was to get comics that day. This was two years ago. And um, I didn't get comics. A lady on the overhead speaker, she's like, it's time to go. We're closing down. So I left. In August, I went to my comic book store. And picked up my first comic since I was a kid. And I'll show you that in a minute. But from August to like October, I was picking up comics, but stuff I was used to. When I was a kid, I would pick up X-Men, Spider-Man, Batman, Superman. You know, I'd pick up all these titles as a kid. So, you know, when I started collecting again, that's what I'd pick up. But it didn't get me into comics. It didn't get me into my store. Nothing like that. It was just stuff I was familiar with. Characters I was comfortable with. So I would just buy them just because I wanted to get my feet wet, you know, try out comics. See if this is something I really wanted to try. And, um, obviously I did. But, um, a cool little story is, when I was a kid, I had a box, a shoe box full of comics. And, um, my friend had a game I wanted to borrow. I'm like, I'll let you borrow my comics if you didn't borrow your game. <laughs> He's like, alright, dude, let's do it. I was maybe third grade, tops. And, um, we just never traded each other's stuff back. And he kept my comics. I kept his game. I can't remember the game, but yeah, that's the last time I had my comic books was when I handed him those comics. But um, anyway, so let me show you these titles. And um, man, my dog is she's possessed. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. Now, when I went to my comic book shop that August, I picked up this Walking Dead 100. This is the one where Glenn gets killed, gets his head bashed in. It was pretty gory, and I was blown away. I was like, what the hell? I didn't know comic books were like this. I'm used to, you know, Superman, Batman, you know, where there's kind of like fighting and stuff. There's not really any murder. They don't show that type of stuff. So this issue right here kind of blew me away. And a funny story is when I went to the comic book shop that day, um, Alan and Bonnie, they worked there. They were talking to these guys, and I don't know what they were talking about, but, you know, they were like, oh, you know, this writer killed this guy in this issue, and they were into this deep conversation. They were trying to, like, bring me into the conversation, like, hey, what do you think about this? And I'm like, this is my first time in the comic book shop in, you know, freaking forever. Like, I have no clue what the hell you're talking about. So, um, I felt awkward, out of place. Like, I had, I was in my head, I was like, what the hell am I doing here? my god, I'm going to go pray for my dog real quick, guys. <laughs> Shut up! Jesus. I'm trying to shoot a video here, Lola. My bad, guys. I'm not going to do this over, though. <laughs> this is like the third attempt. My video um, died earlier, so I had to charge my battery. Anyways, so I fell out of place, so I asked the guy, hey, my nephew's in The Walking Dead. Where are those books? It's a comic book, right? And he's like, yeah, he pointed me to the boxes. This is what I pulled out. So that's kind of a little funny story. And uh, let me show you another one. Two of them are the same character. Batman, Superman, Superman, Batman, whatever. By Greg Pack. I was digging the story. Excuse me. I was used to Batman. I was used to Superman. I knew who they were. So I was comfortable with the characters. I decided to try it out. And I dug it. I probably picked up like the first 12 issues maybe. I jumped off. 
because at that point I had so many books on my pull list. I was, you know, new to the comic book game, and I wanted to try everything. I had maybe like 30 plus titles on my list, so I was like, I gotta drop something. So I dropped a lot of books that day. You know, this was one of them. So yeah, here's another one, Infinity, by Jonathan Hickman. Love that cover. I got it signed by a. Uh, Right here, Jim Chung. I wanted to get a Scotty Young signature. I thought he was coming to San Diego Comic Con. I don't think he did. It doesn't matter. But this was a cool story. Like I said, none of these are really mind-blowing. Like, oh my gosh, yes. That got me into comics as well. This is just stuff that I picked up. It got me into my store on a regular basis. It taught me... When books came out, I didn't know it was weekly type stuff, you know. I just thought once a month books would show up at the comic book store and you go get your stuff. I had no clue what, you know, comic book Wednesday was. I didn't even know what the hell these issue, issue numbers meant. I didn't know what that was. I didn't know what arcs were. I had no clue about nothing. And, you know, these right here, these issues I'm showing you guys are, you know, what taught me when books came out, what the numbers meant. You know, when to go, when to go, and so yeah, so here's a Batman, Scott Snyder. For me, at the time, it was great. Towards the end, after a few months, I was like, please, you know, you're in, this is, a, it's enough, please. But, um, you know, stuck, stuck with it. Like I said, you know, there's two characters that were pretty much the same, Batman. Those are the two, two Batmans. And last but not least is Sheltered. This is by Ed Bryson, I believe. And, um, i never seen this on anyone's uh, video. I think one time I might have seen it on DaCosta's video. One of his hauls. But, um, it's such a great story. Right here is Lucas. And he's a nut. Alright. Their families... Raw craze, getting prepared, the preppers for end of the world type of scenario, and um, the kids go nuts. They end up, they end up like taking over the little camp, and it was just a crazy book. It's coming to an end, so I'm kind of bummed. My heart hurts a little, <laughs> but um, anyways, so um, if you haven't tried it, I re I highly recommend it. You guys should try it out. It's only maybe eight nine bucks for the first trade. And it's not that long. I think it's like on issue maybe 13, 14 right now. So it's coming to an end. And yeah, guys, those are the the issues that got me into comics. Taught me what the numbers were. Taught me what new comic book day was. Taught me, you know, monthly books, bi-monthly, weekly books. And um, so yeah, that's those were the books that got me into it. That started it all for me. And um. This one right here, though, <laughs> when I first read it, I was just blown away, like I said. Like, I didn't know comics were that freaking gory. Like, oh my god, that is pretty awesome. So that's all I got for you guys. Now I got to tag three people. Uh, let me just randomly choose. Uh, let me go to my YouTube friends real quick. I'm going to choose Vin Crew. 12,000. I don't know if you've been chosen yet. If you haven't, make a video. If you have, someone else make one. <laughs> I'll choose uh, the homies at the Comic Cave. I want to hear you guys as creators. I like your videos. You guys got some, some funny characters over there. So make a video. Yeah, I'm going to choose Michael Gantner. Alright guys, that's it. Peace out, people. Check you guys out pretty damn soon. Laters.